Is it possible to have a satisfying sexual life while living with a medical condition? What are the most effective sexual positions to reach orgasm? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. It is possible to have a satisfying sexual life while living with a medical condition. Open communication, adaptation, and proper support are key to maintaining intimacy and pleasure. Consulting with healthcare professionals can offer specific guidance. There are a variety of sexual positions that can facilitate clitoral, G-spot, and other erogenous zone stimulation to achieve orgasm. Some of the most popular positions include missionary, doggy style, cowgirl, and their variations, which allow for different angles of penetration and stimulation. Improved self-esteem. Masturbation can help women feel more confident and comfortable with their sexuality and their bodies, leading to greater self-confidence and improved self-esteem. Incorporation into alternative therapies. Some alternative therapists use principles of the Kama Sutra in practices such as Tantra and couples therapy, aiming to improve emotional and sexual connection between partners. Increase in cases. Despite efforts in sexual education and prevention, STD cases are on the rise in many parts of the world, especially among young people. In some indigenous communities in Latin America, Rituals and traditional ceremonies are practiced that include teachings about sexuality and reproduction as an integral part of culture and spirituality. Individual differences. What works for one person in treating anorgasmia may not work for another, as causes and contributing factors can vary significantly from one person to another. Influence in modern literature. The Kama Sutra has influenced modern literature, with authors incorporating its ideas and concepts into novels and essays about sexuality and human relationships. Influence of culture and religion. In some conservative cultural or religious environments, discussing sexuality and seeking treatment for anorgasmia may be taboo, making it difficult for those affected to seek help. Influence of media. Media, such as television, film, and music, can have a significant impact on attitudes and expectations surrounding sex, as well as shaping individuals' sexual identity. Influence of religious and cultural beliefs. Religious and cultural beliefs can have a significant impact on attitudes towards sexuality and sexual practices. Some cultures value abstinence and chastity, while others promote sexual freedom and individual expression. Inspiration for Sexual Creativity The teachings of the Kama Sutra have inspired many people to adopt a more open and creative attitude towards sex, leading to experimentation and exploration of new forms of pleasure and intimate connection. Inspiration in Film and Television The Kama Sutra has been depicted in numerous movies, television series, and plays, both as an object of academic study and as a source of entertainment and creative exploration. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Internet popularity. Pornography is one of the most searched for and consumed content on the internet, representing a significant portion of web traffic worldwide. In Japan, sex education tends to be more focused on biology and reproduction, with less emphasis on emotional aspects and interpersonal relationships. However, due to easy access to online pornography, many young people obtain information about sex from non-educational sources. Kama Sutra in Fashion Fashion designers have created collections inspired by the Kama Sutra, showcasing garments and accessories with motifs and symbols that evoke sexuality and eroticism. Kama Sutra in Yoga There are yoga practices inspired by the Kama Sutra, which combine physical postures with breathing techniques and meditation to enhance the connection between the body and sexuality. Kama Sutra-inspired tattoos 
Some people choose tattoos based on the Kama Sutra as a way to express their connection to sensuality and eroticism, using symbols and figures from the ancient text. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises, involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles, are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Lasting memories. Memories of satisfying foreplay can linger long after the sexual encounter ends, strengthening the emotional bond and keeping the spark of passion alive in the relationship. In rural communities in Latin America, sexual education workshops may be conducted by health promoters and community leaders, addressing topics such as family planning, disease prevention, and communication in relationships. Leather clothing fetishism. Leather clothing fetishism involves an attraction to clothing made of leather, such as tight pants, jackets, or boots. The smell, texture, and association with domination can be exciting aspects for those with this fetish. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Long-distance couple toys. Remote-controlled sex toys allow couples to sexually interact even when they are geographically separated, as one can control the device while the other uses it. Male anorgasmia, anorgasmia, the difficulty in reaching orgasm, can also affect some men. It can be caused by emotional or physical factors and may be treated with sexual therapy. Masturbation and creativity. Experimenting with different positions, rhythms, pressures, and stimuli during masturbation can increase excitement and pleasure, fostering sexual creativity. Masturbation and empowerment. For many women, masturbation is a form of sexual empowerment by taking control of their own pleasure and exploring their sexuality without shame or taboos. Masturbation and orgasm. Female masturbation can lead to orgasm, but some women also enjoy the process without necessarily reaching climax, focusing on exploration and pleasure. Masturbation as part of sexuality. Masturbation is a common and healthy way to explore sexuality and provide oneself with pleasure. Although it has often been stigmatized, masturbation can be a safe and satisfying practice in the context of healthy sexuality. Masturbation. During menstrual cycle, some women find that masturbation can alleviate symptoms of premenstrual syndrome, PMS, and menstrual cramps by releasing endorphins and reducing muscle tension. Masturbation in the Bible. Although masturbation has often been viewed as taboo in some cultures, the Bible does not explicitly mention masturbation. Interpretations vary. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common and healthy sexual practice that can help explore one's own body, relieve stress, and improve sexual self-esteem. It is a normal part of human development and is not associated with negative health effects. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.